So we'll just check again to verify. And of course we are in tutorial, so we'll go around to the tutorial answer, which is here. Who placed that magenta wool? Navia, of course, as we already saw, not Raven. Not Joymo. Navia placed the wool. And I believe this is the question we missed last time. Which of the following cannot be viewed on the 3D map? We can see players. We can see regions. We cannot see warps. This was the fourth one that we missed before. Which of the following mods is allowed? Can we use a fly mod? No, of course not. That would be cheating. Can we use or radar mod? That would be like x-ray. So that would be out. Smart moving mod. I'm not familiar with that one. I doubt that's allowed. Let's see here. Convenient inventory. Okay, this would not give you an unfair advantage over other players. Organizing your inventory, etc. is false. False. Uh, is, is acceptable. Which of the following statements is false? Exports should be reported to an admin. No, that's true. You should report. Stealing from unlocked chest is not allowed. Uh, that, that's false. Stealing is allowed here. The rules apply to everyone in the world. That's true. Flying is allowed when building. No, the statement is false. Flying mods are not allowed. Congratulations! All right, we will continue. This is the exit to tutorial part two. Uh -huh. Let's see what we find here. I notice a similar decoration scheme here as in the first building, but yeah, it's, it's pleasant. They've done a good job with it. Follow the path, read all the signs, we'll do it. If you're reading this, you made it through the first part of the tutorial. Congrats, now you're in the second part. And familiar with how test rooms are working. The next part probably won't be a problem for you. Just pay attention. Now there's more to be learned, and most of it is necessary as basic knowledge on Buffalo. You know, this is really interesting. Um, this spawn is way more elaborate than I expected it to be. There's, there's certainly a lot of training that has to happen here. I, I look forward to seeing the quality of players that are in Bucksville. If this much time has to be spent to uh, just to gain entry, I, I'm hoping that that the quality will be better on than on some of the servers where you know, there's a fairly low barrier to entry. We'll find out. As a new player, you can build an area called the Wild. 500 bucks from Bucksville in any direction. There's no region in the wild. So if you use your gold sword, you can double check to see if you're in the correct area. If it says no regions defined, you're not in a region. Therefore, you can build there. All right. The Ether is a separate world for mining and collecting resources, as it's discouraged to mine on the main map in the wild. It's interesting. This keeps it looking clean. It's actually a very good idea. It, you, I, I'm sure you've seen it, but there are some maps where... <laughs> It, as soon as you enter the unprotected area, it, it just, I mean, it, it looks like a nuclear bomb hit. It's horrible. Whether from creeper, exp creeper explosions or people just gathering whatever resources they can find, people rush out to the first available area and just, just strip it, and it, it's really ugly. A hello, person. Let's see. The ether is reset once a week for new materials. Oh, very interesting. PHP, PvP is disabled, but mobs and hunger are not. You can access it using ether. Check your ether. You can warp to the ether user. Oh, interesting. All right, I ran the command ether. It says 40. Actually, I got no response at all. I'm not really sure what that means. Perhaps it's something that becomes enabled as we go on through. Representative Booksville, main world map. Booksville, wild. New players can build here. And there's the town. <laughs> interesting. I wonder if those proportions are correct. We'll find out. A Stargate. Mm -hmm. Interesting shape. A lot of them are rectangular shape. This is, uh, I like this shape. Looks pretty nice. Right click the list of destinations. Huh. But since it's not enabled, we're not going to get anything. And plus, I was using my uh, wand. Okay. Nada. Next. There are many ways to travel on our server. The most popular way is to use the Stargates. Stargates have their own network, which will be listed on the third line. For example, the Stargate that will take you to the towns will say towns. Stargates take you to the, take you to Donut Worlds, Donut Islands, the Dungeon World. 
and towns. Some high rank constructors can build their own Stargate networks as well, making Stargates a very easy way to travel long distances. As a peasant, you will not have to pay a fee to use a Stargate system, but once you rank up, there will be a small fee for each use. That is a great, great system. Some people try to avoid uh, allowing many Stargates in the world because the thing is too easy to travel around, but just adding a fee uh, certainly balances that, I would think. Use the gates, explore the server before you rank up. There are also many more ways to travel. You're free to use boats, mini carts, or your own virtual feet. Why, thank you. I appreciate that. The travel role can also you teleport players. So would you switch to a travel role just to teleport, one wonders? Uh, so you right-click the sign to list the destinations. Hmm. Interesting. I'm, I'm not seeing a list here. Uh, perhaps I'm, I'm doing it wrong. But whether I right-click the sign or the button, I am not getting a list. That's all right. We'll try it in the real world. Next, we have global channels and their role. I'm glad they're using channels in their chat system. There's nothing worse than lumping everything into the global chat. It's important, so pay attention. G for global. OT for off-topic, uh-huh, trade channel, only ads, price check, yes, help channel, good, ranting, <laughs> I like it, recruitment, only for ads, uh, for jobs and towns, MI for the missions, Ventrilo channel, uh, I should look up what Ventrilo is, I've seen the word before, but I'm not familiar with it, Alchemy Chan for alchemy events, and TH for Trading House. On we go. I'm hoping those channels are listed uh, somewhere in the help. They were fairly straightforward, but I don't think we'll remember all of them. To join a specific channel, you need to type channel, CH channel name. All right. Joins global. Mm -hmm. So join and leave a particular channel. Nice. Easy enough. In fact, let's go ahead and test now. Um, what if we do uh, it says we're already in global. All right, no problem. Private message, W. Yep, W for whisper. Messages can be more than a single word. And you, if you use R, you reply to the last person that messaged you. Be careful with that. It's easy to get... Uh, a little bit turned around if you're talking to multiple people at one time. Message is where you want to send a message. So uh, if you use W for whisper, you list the name of the person you want to go to and then the message, yo man in this case. If you're replying, you don't have to enter the name. Just enter the message. Do not whisper to the admins. I assume we use the help channel to contact the admins. In chat, a few players have special colors and letters next to the name. These are admins or in chat moderators. Navia, Raven, okay, so the A would be admin, Raven Zero would be a moderator, respect them and try to listen to them. If you get warned just by them, just listen, and if you were told that you were wrong, in the wrong channel, move to the correct channel. If you refuse to move, or don't listen to them, you may even be kicked or banned. I wonder if you could be in multiple channels at a time. Uh, I suspect not, because if you were to speak in one, you'd basically be spamming multiple channels. We'll find out. Alright, these are the no's. No excess caps. No swearing, talk about politics or religion, spam, racism, sexism, harassment, disrespect. Use your brain. Those are in short supply on many uh, Minecraft servers. We'll see. Most questions can be answered by the wiki. Please check before asking in the help channel. Those are all pretty straightforward. We've seen them elsewhere. List of player staff moderators. We've seen a couple of these names before in the uh, the tutorial. Raven, uh, Navia, huh. Raven Zero is on there twice. That's interesting. I do not see Navia now. Oh, Navia was an admin. That's all right. I assume we'll get to know some of those others as well. They have a lot of moderators. That's a good thing. I hope they're active. Each material or service perk has its own price. There are two main currencies in Bucksville. Bucks and eggs. We saw that already. The main currency used in trades is called Bucks. Eggs are used in ranking up your town or your role. We'll have to find out how we get those eggs. Alright, if we want to advertise, use the T channel for trade. 
buying and selling, and also for checking prices. Are you for recruitments? Or to find jobs? Interesting. Asking for membership in a town. Trading house is for watching and bidding on auctions run by players. So, uh, T is for buying and selling. TH for trading houses for bidding and auctions. It, it seems like there's a bit of overlap between the two. We will find out uh, how it's used as we test it out a little more. You can check how much bucks you have using money to pay. Money pay. That's interesting. Money pay instead of just pay. That's all right. We can make that work. To find a shop that will buy your items and ask in the trade channel. Or we'll walk around the bucks where or any of the major down. All kinds of shops. I look forward to that. I hope there's an active shop in, in most or all of the towns. Competition is nice. Keep in mind that common items like dirt and cobble may not sell, as well as <laughs> items like ores and mob drops. That's a fairly basic feature of most economies. Players tend to want to buy items in bulk unless the item is hard to get naturally. I know the path doesn't go this way, but I um, wonder what this is for. Wow. That's an interesting uh, selling system. We'll have to give that a try later on. All right, read all the signs. Will do. The carpet spell allows you to soar through the skies on a carpet made of glass. Let's see, this is five by five. How does one cast a carpet spell? One wonders. Amazing magic system, wonders, and amazing spells. You can warp your places, shoot fire, even see through stone for mining. Ooh, that sounds a little bit like x-ray. Use cast in the spell name or see in the spell name. Do not start off with all of the spells. You have to learn a spell before you can use it. Soon you will get the two most used spells, mark and recall. Okay. Stone vision allows you to turn the stone nearest to you to glass to see where the ores are. I wonder why they do that. Fire Nova allows you to send waves of fire away from you to cook attacking mobs. So that's Fire Nova. That one is Stone Vision. Entomb allows you to trap enemies in a glass cage. This is really unique. I, I've never seen uh, a system quite like this on a Minecraft server before. Oh, I'll spell you a wall of webs to slow down approaching monsters. Alrighty then. Did we cover this? Mark creates a location you can warp to by casting Recall. Recall warps you back to where you cast the mark. One moment. Example, John casts Mark. John gets lost. John recalls. John is ported back home, even if John went to the other side of the map door. Then it's basically a set home. Then, All right. That one's called Warp. And there's one called Recall. So... I presume that you can only mark one spot. We'll find that out. Spellcasting has a reagent cost. In Bucksville, the reagent used is RSD, redstone dust. For example, to cast a recall, it costs eight redstone dust. Finally, a use for redstone. That's fabulous. I mean, I know we used to make uh, you know, machines and things, but I always have way too much redstone laying around. See, help spell. Okay, we'll try that out later. Magical supplies. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Another good spell that you have already have is spawn. Spawn sent you to the spawn next to the Zen Garden. The spell only works while you're a peasant. Now isn't that handy? And the Zen Garden's currently under construction. Chest. Type C info and hit the chest for info. Alright, so they're using LWC. It should tell us uh, the chest is not registered. Alright, uh, that's a bug in the, right here right now, but normally when you do that, it would tell you who it's registered to. If it's your own, it would tell you, um, I believe it would also tell you how many more chests you can register. Yep, they use LWC, uh, Lightweight Inventory Protection. Let you look at a chest so that only you can open it. To lock a chest, use C private and hit 
the chest that you want to lock. The lock stops other players from opening and destroying the chest. Make sure you lock all your chests. You can also lock things like doors and furnaces. Sometimes you need a chest that others can access but not destroy. This can be done with a public lock. With using public lock, you see public. So you see private and see public and hit the chest that you want to lock. We can do that. All right. These are buggy, so we can't... Uh, it's interesting that LWC does have a password protection system. You saw that in the corner. Anyone with the password can open a chest if you protect it using, I believe, just C password. 